and if you read through Anthony's sayings, you'll find that he's very balanced, very understanding, very compassionate. Saying number 13 of Anthony. A hunter in the desert saw Abba Anthony relaxing with the brothers. He was scandalized. Wanting to show him that it is sometimes necessary to relax with the brothers, Anthony said, put an arrow in your bow and shoot it. So the hunter did. The old man said, shoot another one. And he did. And the old man said, shoot again. And the hunter said, if I keep bending my bow, it will break. And Anthony said to him, it is the same with the work of God. If we stretch, it will be beyond their measure. <coughs> Sometimes we need to relax with the breath. <coughs> That's a very humane kind of an attitude, isn't it? <laughs> we take time out to watch TV. We take time out to go on the water. We take time out to go skiing. We take time out to be with our family. Why not take time out to be alone? To be in silence, to be with God, to be in prayer. So maybe we ought to be more selfish in that respect. Because we are no good to others if we miss this stage of the desert. We are just not going to even perform as well when we don't have this break, this retreat, like you're doing today. So the Desert Fathers emphasize this need for an integrated self this need to relearn the sense of love, that love is not just giving continually. In fact, they use this image. It's not like pouring water in sand. It's not like pouring water in a bucket with holes. These are images they use. We need to relearn the whole understanding of love and service. That to work in the church, and this applies especially to clergy. It's not an excuse to minister unto everyone and not have time for yourself or your family. When I used to teach uh, students at Holy Cross about the importance of silence, I would refer to Archbishop Anthony Bloom's books that I recommended to you earlier. And Anthony Bloom has an amazing passage <coughs> about silence in his book called School for Prayer. And he says the following, this is a kind of a summary, it sort of goes for two, three pages as a description. And Metropolitan Anthony says, try to find time to stay alone with yourself, where you can shut the door and settle down in your room at a moment when you have nothing else to do. And say to yourself, I am now with myself. Do you remember Abba Alonius? Unless a man says that he's alone with God, and never find peace. It's the same here. <coughs> Sounds selfish. Wait till Anthony finishes. He says, find that time, be alone with yourself, and just sit there in silence. And he goes on, he says, no phones, we could say, no, no iPads, no iPhone, nothing. All right? Silence. And he says, after an amazingly short time, you will most likely feel bored. That's true. And then he says, that teaches us one very useful thing. It gives us an insight into the fact that if after 10 minutes of being alone with ourselves in silence, we feel bored, is it any wonder that others feel bored with us? That's a social dimension of science. That's where you replenish resources. That's where you become more valuable, more productive in the silence. So no, it's not a selfish act. 